If you've been living under a rock, ChatGPT is an AI-powered chat that can do amazing things like writing genetic filler articles or absurd jokes about anime. It's kind of like beta Siri. But can it teach you natural Japanese? Let's find out. Can you teach me natural conversational Japanese? Learn basic phrases, practice listening and speaking, learn slang and casual expressions, pay attention to intonation. These are pretty obvious things. Read manga or watch anime. Interesting. Manga and anime are a great way to learn conversational Japanese. I agree. I've always said that anime can be a good resource to learn Japanese. Of course, anime characters don't always speak like real life Japanese, but just because you learn some Japanese from anime, it doesn't mean you have to speak like some anime characters. These tips are pretty generic. I'm not sure if you've learned anything new. Teach me some Japanese phrases. Um, okay. These things are not any better than just Googling. How do you say, do you like anime in Japanese? So it says, Anime ga suki desu ka? Which is grammatically correct, but in the context of asking somebody if they like anime, this is actually not how we phrase it. Native speakers typically say, Anime wa suki desu ka? Or simply, Anime suki desu ka? So this is what I call textbook Japanese. We would say anime ga suki desu ka in a slightly different situation. For example, if you already know that somebody likes anime and you kind of want to confirm, you might say, Huh, you like anime, right? Huh, anime ga suki desu ka? So ChatGPT doesn't understand these nuances, but to be fair, Japanese textbooks actually don't understand these nuances either. Oh, I have an interesting question. Do textbooks teach you unnatural Japanese? Textbooks generally teach standard Japanese, which is the formal and correct way of speaking the language. They don't necessarily teach you the correct way. Just think about this. If 99% of native speakers say one thing, and textbooks teach you something else that nobody says, which is really correct, and how you decide what is correct? Do you think that people who write textbooks for non-native speakers have the authority to decide what's correct Japanese? I don't think so. Japanese grammar for non-native speakers for teaching purposes is different from Japanese grammar for native speakers. So which is correct? So one of the phrases that textbooks often teach you is ogenki desu ka? as a way of saying how are you? But it's actually not very common and most Japanese people don't say this most of the time. Of course, some Japanese people in some regions, especially older generations, might say this in some situations. But this is by no means the most common thing to say. So let's ask ChatGPT. Do most Japanese people say ogenki desu ka? regularly. Yes, ogenki desu ka is a common greeting in Japanese that translates to how are you or are you well. Many Japanese people use this phrase regularly. That's not true. That's not true. And I've already made a video where I analyzed actual real life footage, so you might want to check it out. And by the way, you don't have to speak natural Japanese. It's okay to speak unnatural Japanese for communication purposes. But I also like learning languages, and when I learn a language, I want to learn how people actually speak the language. And I don't like it when textbooks teach me something that people would almost never say. So if you want to learn how we actually speak Japanese in real life, I will teach you the kind of Japanese that real life Japanese people today actually speak. So click the link in the description and subscribe to my email list. So I'm gonna try some unnatural Japanese phrases and where would be a good place to look for a natural Japanese? Of course, Minna no Nihongo, which is like a king of unnatural Japanese. So let me try this phrase that I've always found very unnatural. And that is... Is this natural in conversation? Passport o mise na kereba narimasen. So the context is important here because this is supposed to be conversational Japanese. And the premise of textbooks like Minna no Nihongo is to teach you conversational Japanese. If you look at examples, almost everything is part of conversations. So let's try this. So the sentence, 
パスポートを見せなければなりません。is a natural and grammatically correct sentence in Japanese. It's not natural. In conversation, we are most likely to say something like パスポート見せなきゃいけません。But when would you say this? That you have to show your passport?、Um, maybe you're explaining somebody who wants to go to a foreign country and you will tell them, oh, you know, you have to show your passport at the immigration or something like that. So what would I say in that situation? I think if I'm just explaining the steps, I would probably just say, パスポート見せてください。Please show your passport, which is interesting because ChatGPT also says in more casual or informal settings, people may use a shorter and more casual phrase such as パスポートを見せてください。So, パスポートを見せてください。Please show me your passport is not a shorter and a more casual version of パスポートを見せなければなりません。These are different phrases that mean different things. So, ChatGPT can be misleading. But think about the fact that textbooks often teach you phrases that you are very unlikely to say in real life. It's interesting that when they come up with examples, they don't ask themselves that if there are actually situations where people would use that phrase. It always amazes me because when I write examples for my courses, I always ask that question Would I actually say this in real life? But many people who write example sentences don't ask that question. And I know this because I also hire people to write examples, and many candidates write very unrealistic phrases like the ones you see in textbooks. So many people don't ask that question. So let me ask this question to ChatGPT. Which sounds more natural in conversation? パスポートを見せなければなりません。Or, パスポート見せなきゃいけないです。So ChatGPT says, The sentence パスポート見せなきゃいけないです sounds more natural in conversation compared to パスポート見せなければなりません。Especially in casual and informal settings. That's correct. However, it's important to note that the use of casual or colloquial language is dependent on the situation and the people you are speaking with. In informal or business settings, it may be more appropriate to use the more formal language, which is not false, but when it comes to these examples, パスポート見せなきゃいけないです is perfectly polite and you can talk this way with strangers, your bosses, or clients. There's actually no situation in real life conversations that you have to pick パスポートを見せなければなりません over パスポート見せなきゃいけないです So, there s many natural and colloquial ways of speaking Japanese that are perfectly polite in most settings. But when it comes to more formal documents like legal writing, you might have to say なければなりません instead of なきゃいけません But most non native speakers, or most native speakers actually, will never be in a situation where they actually have to write a document that is that formal. So, think about the fact. So, there's another unnatural phrase that many non native speakers use, and that is, Nihongo hanashimasu ka? as a way of saying, Do you speak Japanese? So, let's ask ChatGPT. Is Nihongo hanashimasu ka? natural? The sentence Nihongo hanashimasu ka? is not a natural sentence in Japanese. Whoa, that's interesting. A more natural way to ask, Do you speak Japanese? in Japanese would be, Nihongo hanasemasu ka? This sentence is more commonly used in daily conversation and is considered more natural in Japanese. This is interesting because the last time I asked the same question, it actually said it was natural. But maybe because I kept asking natural and unnatural Japanese, I think ChatGPT actually learned the natural way for this phrase because of our conversation. This is very interesting. So, let me explain why Nihongo hanashimasu ka is not natural. Well, it's because native speakers typically don't phrase this way. We would say Nihongo hanasemasu ka or Nihongo shaberemasu ka. Shabereru is a little more casual than hanaseru. But we are using the potential form can do something here. Hanaseru is the potential form of hanasu. Shabereru is the potential form of shaberu. Both words mean to speak. But English speakers tend to say 
日本語話せますか Because in English, you would say, Do you speak Japanese? instead of, Can you speak Japanese? So they kind of literally translate, Do you speak Japanese? into Japanese, which is interesting because many Japanese people actually say, Can you speak Japanese? when they speak English. Because in Japanese, we phrase that way. Of course, Can you speak Japanese? is grammatically correct. But I think in English, the kind of situation that you would say, Can you speak Japanese? is as a request to speak Japanese. As in, Hey, can you speak Japanese? Because I don't speak English. Oh, I came up with another question. How do you say, Do you speak Japanese? in Japanese. So it says, Nihongo hanasemasu ka? It's amazing, ChatGPT is learning. When I asked the same question the other day, it didn't give me the same answer, so it's amazing. Well, in conversation, we are actually much more likely to say, Nihongo hanasemasu ka? Because we don't use a lot of o in conversation, as opposed to when we write Japanese. But this is a pretty decent answer, and much better than many <laughs> apps and textbooks. Which is more natural? Nihongo hanasemasu ka? Or Nihongo hanasemasu ka? Uh, okay. The more natural way to say, can you speak Japanese in Japanese is Nihongo hanasemasu ka? This is the more formal and standard way to ask this question. While Nihongo hanasemasu ka? is also grammatically correct and could be used in some situations, it is more casual and may not be appropriate in formal or professional contexts. In general, using Nihongo hanasemasu ka is more widely accepted and appropriate in both situations, especially when speaking with people you don't know well or in more formal settings. This is not correct at all. So the real difference is Nihongo hanasemasu ka without o is more colloquial and conversational, which means if you are talking to people, even if it's a more formal setting, saying Nihongo hanasemasu ka is perfectly fine because it's conversational and you are having a conversation. The kind of situation where you have to use o is when you are writing Japanese as opposed to when you're speaking Japanese. However, using desu or masu, which are keigo or honorifics, is already somewhat conversational. If you really look at very official and formal texts, like legal documents, they don't use des or mas. And also, this is a question, Nihongo hanasemasu ka? So, by definition, it's kind of conversational. So in real life, there aren't many situations where you actually have to use Nihongo hanasemasu ka as opposed to Nihongo hanashimasu ka. One situation I can think of is actually if you're writing a survey question. So in a printed survey, if you want to write this question, you would have to write Nihongo hanasemasu ka instead of Nihongo wa. Actually, no. Actually, no. If it's a survey, I think I would write Nihongo wa hanasemasu ka instead of Nihongo hanasemasu ka. So there's actually very, very few situations which I can't really think of any situations off the top of my head where you actually have to use Nihongo hanasemasu ka. Again, this is a very contextual thing, so particles are very contextual. So you don't always have the correct particle you can use in a given situation. So one of the reasons why textbooks are often unnatural is that they try to use a particle when we wouldn't use one. So they sometimes give you a particle that we actually wouldn't use. The idea that there's correct Japanese that you can use in every situation is wrong. And that's why when I teach you Japanese, I try to give you as much context as I can. You are wrong. I apologize if my previous response was not accurate. Could you please provide more information on why you believe I was wrong? Well, ChatGPT is willing to learn. But its answers are sometimes right, but sometimes wrong. And when it's wrong, you can sometimes ask leading questions to get the kind of answer you want, or you can train it. But if you're not fluent in Japanese, how would you know if answers are right or wrong? You wouldn't. So if you want to learn Japanese with me, I will teach you the kind of Japanese the real-life Japanese people today actually speak. 
Because textbooks and apps often teach you things that we don't really say in real life. So click the link and subscribe to my email group, Japanese with Utah.